up you guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super stoked about today's video. One thing that has always been really important to me is making sure that this channel is mainly focused on giving information to people and, and giving information on how to lose weight, how to maintain weight loss, and things like that. So today's video is 100% focused on how to lose weight. Now if you've been a subscriber for a while, a lot of the information in this video is probably stuff that you already know. The reason I wanted to make this video now was because one, there's always new people that are coming to the channel that might not know this information and two I genuinely think this is some of the most important information if you are trying to lose weight so today we're gonna be talking about how to find what your TDEE is what that means is your total daily energy expenditure so we're gonna find out how to calculate that so once you know what your TDEE is you will know how many calories you are burning throughout a day and then you'll know how many calories you should be eating if you want to lose weight now in my experience what I'm going to share with you guys today works for about 95% of people. So for the vast majority of people can get some useful information out of this video. Obviously there's always going to be outliers, people that are dealing with thyroid issues. You know, there's, I know that if you have PCOS that can make weight loss a little bit different, but for the vast majority of people, the information in this video will help you lose weight. I truly believe that. So your total daily energy expenditure, like I said before, this is the amount of calories you are burning throughout the day. Now I know the next question is gonna be, well how do I find that out? And that's what we're gonna be doing right now. But I like to use a calculator called tdeecalculator.net. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This has just been one that I've used that I see works. It's completely free. So I'll have the link down in the description so you can go to this website and do this stuff for yourself as well. So I'm gonna screen record exactly what I am doing on the website. So you're gonna go here and what you're gonna click on is obviously you're gonna click on your gender. For me, we're gonna be tracking mine. So male and then age, I am 26 years old. My weight is 205 pounds. I am 5'8". Everyone always asks how tall I am. I am 5'8". And I would say that I'm actually, I do do a lot of two a day, so I'm going to put athlete there. And I don't know my exact body fat percentage, so I'm not going to go and try and track that. So now I'm going to calculate what my TDEE is. My TDEE is 3580. So what that means is my body, with all of the working out, with all of the movement that I do throughout a day, is 3,500. 80 calories. So if I wanted to maintain my weight right now, I would want to eat around 3,500 calories and that's exactly, actually exactly what I do. So I really like this. It's pretty accurate. Again, it's just a calculator. It's not going to be completely 100% on point, but I found that it is pretty close to accurate. One thing I wanted to show you guys that I thought was pretty funny. If you go down here, it says my BMI score is 31.2. And so I'm actually still considered obese. I'm not the biggest fan of BMI. I know that there's certain ways that you can use it, certain ways that people do use it, but I definitely don't think I am obese anymore. It doesn't take into account, you know, the, the amount of muscle mass you have and stuff like that, or for me, you know, the amount of loose skin you might have. Uh, so it's, it's funny though, because it still says that I am obese. Now before we go any further, it is very, very important when you are putting in your stats into this website that you are brutally honest with yourself. You know, don't lie about how tall you are, don't lie about how much you weigh, don't lie about your exercise. That is probably one of the most important things. You have to be very honest. If you don't think that you work out that much and maybe you want to put like you're highly active or something like that, just make sure that you're you're honest with yourself because if you're not, you're only going to be messing it up for yourself. So now you know what your TDE is. Again, for me, 3580 calories. What do you do from there if you want to lose weight? Now, what I recommend to pretty much any one when you are first starting out first trying to see how many calories you should be eating is to find out what your TDEE is and then TDE is so hard to say, but then after you, after you get that number, subtract three to 500 calories from that number. So for me, it would be, you know, around 3000 calories, give or take a little bit, right? So for me, that's exactly what I would do. And that's what I recommend to everyone. Subtract three to 500 calories. And then one of the most important things is that when you do this though, you have to do that for a couple weeks because then you can track your body weight, how you're looking in the mirror, things like that. But it's very important if you are doing this that you have to be very honest and you have to be on point. You can't have days where you're messing up because then you don't know if those numbers are working for you. Another thing I do like about this website, if you see right here, it'll give you all of the different TDEs for all the different activity levels as well. So you see here it says athlete, heavy exercise, moderate exercise, light exercise, sedentary, and then it has this word called 
basal metabolic rate. Now this is BMR for short. So what your basal metabolic rate is in layman's terms is basically this is how many calories your body is burning. Say if you were to just lay in bed all day, not move at all because your body is always burning calories just to exist, just to live, you have to burn calories. A lot of people, and I know this is very basic, some people will think that it's silly that I'm even saying this, but a lot of people don't know that you actually burn calories when you're not moving or doing anything or when you're working out. You're burning, I'm burning calories right now by talking to you, moving my arms around. So your BMR is just, that's the amount of calories your body burns by just existing. And as you can see here, for me, my basal metabolic rate is 1800 calories. So if I were to not move at all, I would need to eat 1800 calories just to not lose weight, just to maintain the body that I have right now. And I personally recommend for most people, this changes a little bit and we'll get into that, but for most people, you probably shouldn't be going under your BMR when you're trying to lose weight. Especially if you're trying to lose weight in a healthy way, in a sustainable way that's not gonna be some sort of crazy crash diet, I really recommend staying above that BMR if you can. Now there's, again, there's outliers and we'll get into that, but for me, it's funny because when I did my men's physique show this is the lowest calories I ate you know after I, I dealt with like my binge eating and stuff but this is the lowest I ever ate when I was trying to lose weight for the men's physique show I was down to 2100 calories and I remember I felt so unbelievably tired so again my recommendation is not to go under that BMR if you can you know manage that so like I said there are going to be outliers so I actually wanted to track somebody that would be a lot different than where I am now a lot closer to where I am when I first started so again we're gonna go back into the calculator and track we're gonna track a male that is 26 but this time he is going to be 400 pounds so close to how much I weighed when I first started 5'8 and then we're gonna go down to sedentary because I definitely was sedentary so the the TDE for a 400 pound male that is sedentary is going to be 3,300 calories. So again, the TDE is 3,323 calories, but if you look at the BMR or the basal metabolic rate, for that person, it's 2,769. So there's not a huge difference. There's not a lot of room to play with from the TDEE to the BMR. And like I said, you don't wanna be going under your BMR. So what do you do? Now, this is actually a good question. This is something that I've kind of wondered myself. And again, and my recommendation for that person that's 400 pounds would be the exact same as it would be for somebody else. Start at a moderate deficit. You don't need to do anything crazy. There's no reason for that. I always say you should be wanting to eat as much food as possible while still losing weight. You want your calories as high as they can be while still losing weight. That is the goal that you should have. So again, three to a 500 calorie deficit. And then from there, after two weeks, that 400 pound person, if they're not seeing any changes or any results, then you can decide to maybe drop by 200 calories that then after those two weeks to see if maybe that will help. But again, there's no reason to start your diet at 1200 calories because you don't have anywhere to move once that maybe that 1200 calories isn't working anymore. So again, I always recommend starting at the slightest deficit you can while still losing weight and then you'll have more room to play with when maybe you hit a plateau or you're not losing the weight as fast as you want to. Now, I do wanna make it very clear, this is just a calculator online, it is not exactly perfect. So again, that's why I always say to track for two weeks, see how that's working, and then after those two weeks, you can decide to make changes if you want. Now, I'm not saying everyone needs to be tracking all of their macros. I think what is helpful is to track your calories. I know it sounds really daunting, but honestly, once you start, once you get used to it, it's really not that hard. Honestly, if, if I can do it, if I can figure it out, anybody can figure that out. So again, just to wrap it up, go to the website, track your TDEE. Very important that you're very honest with yourself so you're not getting numbers that aren't going to work for you. And then from there, subtract three to 500 calories. See how you feel in about two weeks. If it's working, don't change anything. You're good. You should be able to stick to that for a while. But if it's not working, then maybe drop another 200 calories and maybe that will speed up the process a little bit. Now, what's really important is that eventually with this formula, there is going to be a time where your body has caught up basically to the amount of calories that you're eating and you are going to need to drop the calories. So again, it's all about monitoring your body. So if you notice that after about three months, those numbers are no longer working for, me, for you, there's no reason that you can't go back in and recalculate your TDEE if you want to. Or again, you can just drop you know your calories by two to 300 calories calories that you don't need to be drastic there's nothing special about being drastic it's all about those small changes because then you can build on those week after week so 
I truly hope that this video helped you out. I hope that the information is useful for you. Again, I really do believe that for the vast majority of people, this can be helpful. Again, there's always gonna be a couple outliers, but for the vast majority of people, this formula really does work. And I feel like it's the most sustainable way to have slow and steady weight loss that you can maintain for a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up my fam. Ugh. <laughs>